up, jazz guitar friends? Larry Tamanini here with Jazz Guitar Under 5 Minutes. Hey, how's everybody doing today? You just caught me playing through a B-flat blues. You know, anytime any guitar player, jazz guitar player, blues guitar player, rock guitar player, right, you get in a rut, you just want to be sitting down and having a chance to just play your instrument and have fun. Try to go for stuff, right? Sometimes you're in a rut because you play things the same way all the time. You know what it's going to be before it happens. So you have to actively go for stuff. So in those couple of choruses that I played, I played some stuff that maybe I wouldn't play with a band, but since I was by myself and I was trying to land some stuff, I took some liberties that you can only do when you're playing solo, right? So the first thing that I did was I really wanted to sort of come up with an interesting way to get to this B-flat chord. You know, don't you ever think about stuff when, you know, music, when you're not with your instrument? Sometimes I'm out walking the dog and I'm thinking like, hmm, drawing up the plays in my head, right? So what you heard me approach this B-flat was I started from a D-flat major, right? Kind of weird, but sort of giant steps changes to that A-flat. And then I made that A-flat major and A-flat 7. And I walked my way up. And what I ended up doing with that first chorus is I really wanted to play like a repeated kind of bluesy line. You know, in part because I love the blues. I think it's a big part of all the music that I really like. Um, and I played that repeated line, but underneath the line, I kind of messed with the harmony. So you heard me play this line, you know. And after there, I went to, you know, I like this chord. It's a B flat sus down to, you know, I guess that you could say that's a, a nine, you know, a B flat nine, B flat, A flat, and D and then D, C, I like that chord. And then I went up to this guy here, you know, with the E flat on top. And rather than, you know, you get to the four, right? You think you're going to hear that line again. Well, you know, I wanted to play with the harmony. So what I ended up doing is going down from this, my four, E flat, D flat, and then I knew I had two bars, so I wanted to try to get something that I could land. B flat D, I'm sorry, B to D, again, trying to keep that giant steps theme going. By itself, doesn't sound super happening, but together. And there's that line again, right? And this took me right back to my two chord. Something I really like to do here is play a very Philly jazz guitar thing to do. That chromatic 2-5 is open at all times. That's a fun place to put it in on the blues right there, too. And then, again, on this turnaround, that's where I really decided to sort of go for something again. So I played, again, a minor third idea with this B-flat sus, D-flat sus. Oh, it sounds like I'm playing some Luther Vandross. Uh, e sus. But I knew I could walk it all the way up to that E because I was a half step away from my F. Once I get to that F chord in this B-flat blues, I know I, I can resolve anything I want to do. Okay, so the next chorus, what I tried to do is maybe get a little bit of a modern sound. You know, this is not a, a, a hard chord to play. I love this chord. I always was drawn to this sound. Right? And then I kind of did the same thing here. It's a little bit different voicing when you kind of move it up a fourth. But that was the vibe I had there. And once I got to hear the way, the way I approached the four chord, right, that's a line that I took from uh, Miles Davis in a silent way where it, you hear that. Whoops. But you get the vibe, right? So that's a common tone idea and a really cool, a really cool kind of idea that you can implement 
on the guitar in an easy way because it's so easy to play, right? Just with your first finger. I usually use my, my third finger to get that top note. So you heard me play. Again, having the feel to be able to get to the one with the right anticipation. It's kind of like a little Euro step that you get to. You hear that one. And again, I really liked having this F on top. So you heard me play. I went down a whole step. That's kind of like a D flat sound. C sus. And then you heard me play this B flat, seven sharp 11. And then I kept that going here with this B flat seven regular voicing. A little modern sound there with that kind of like F sus with the A in the bass. I'll do that again, you know, while I'm talking all this time, right? So I kept all this going for this, you know, all the F going once I got to my four, right? Right, and then I just got to my turnaround. you want to put at that point right so once you kind of get two choruses under your belt you should have like enough musical momentum you know to keep it going for at least another chorus or two that's usually how it works right it's very rare that like you're playing and you kind of like completely just fall apart you know it's like you you tear your jazz guitar acl and you're out uh, that would not be, you know, nothing to laugh at, but I mean, usually once you get a couple of choruses of momentum, you're good. I, I always felt that those few choruses are the toughest, and once you can get through two choruses, you're kind of like rolling at that point. So check it out. Let's just talk about a couple of the three things that I did there to sort of get me going. The first thing was really approaching my one chord in a way that like maybe I... I wouldn't normally do, but again, it was a theme that I recycled a lot with that sort of Coltrane kind of thing, right? You never think you're going to play it like that, go into an A flat to start a blues. Haha, <laughs> tricky LT. So I was here, and then we had that line, right? And we're just trying to keep a simple line happening while I'm kind of messing with the harmony, right? And then again, you know, some little sneaky. There's that line, right? And then trying to go for some turnarounds, you know, working on your feel. Obviously, I'm trying to play right now and, and keep it keep it going and explain what I'm doing. So, you know, you, there's a couple things that, you know, it's not completely how it was, but I'm sure you get the idea from hearing that. The next thing after that is trying to get a common tone idea, right? And that happened once we sort of like use this F note, you know, ad nauseum, I guess. Some people don't dig the common tone, but maybe that's just kind of coming out of the Philly jazz and all the organ stuff. I mean, like the one note thing was, was like the coolest thing that you could do. I, I thought some people aren't into it. But anyway, so that's another thing. And, and then really going for it on those turnarounds, trying to find, just like we talked about starting out, like, you know, Magellan, you're a new way to, to find, you know, a new way to the one. Like, come back and, and tell all your friends that you found a new way to get to the one. Because really, that's all it is. You know, if you have enough, like, hip turnarounds, people are going to hear that while you're playing and they're going to, like, probably steal it from you right on the spot and and then your jazz friends at that point so all right guitar friends if you made it this far thanks so much i really appreciate all the support i think i'm up over like 2100 subscribers uh i've got a lot of requests for lessons and ideas for my youtube please keep it coming i'm very available i'll be at rocky mountain archtop fest in like a week with jimmy it's gonna be great keep swinging Bebop, don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Thank you.